So, uh, y'all already know that I be on my conspiracy shit. All right, this is what this video is going to be about. Um, what I believe in personally about what's going on over in Syria and why it's going on over in Syria. Anybody that is at least relatively political or even have political thoughts know what a false flag is. All right. These are acts that happen at the hand of the said uh, person that's supposed to be the good guy. That's like me uh, running up to, say, some bully or something like that. And I'm preaching stop the bullying. Stop the bullying. Stop the bullying. But I'm telling this motherfucker who to bully. Giving him the ability to bully. Giving him the weaponry to be a bully. This is how a false flag works. This is the type of shit that America have been involved in for many, many years. Many years. All right? And it's no different now. Whenever we want to push a war, we false flag. Uh, you had George Bush who false flagged the shit. And really, it was more, I don't call it false flagging, which it was, but it was more fear mongering with George Bush and the reason we had to go to war with Iraq. Because they have weapons. We didn't have to see the weapons. We needed to be told there were weapons over there to justify us going to war. The American peoples, not everybody, but the American peoples co-signed what the fuck was going on. Now we flash forward to Barack Obama, Nobel Peace Prize winning Barack Obama, who is using the same fucked up ass tactics. All right. Now he's he's gone bigger than the um, the uh, drone strikes. It's bigger than that now. It's completely bigger than that. He done took it a step further. And he's arm, he armed the Syrian uh, rebels with chemical weapons to use on the peoples. All right. Meanwhile, the leader of Syria, Assad, uh, this brother is like, okay, wait, well, I didn't. What is going on? How how did this happen? I didn't green like this, basically. And I don't believe the brother did. America has a vested interest in going to war uh, with Syria. Because they're trying to get to Iran. Alright? Oil. Okay, I'm just going to... Let me just take all these countries out. I'm going to keep it plain for y'all. Oil. Natural resources. I've been covering this and talking about this in several of my videos. And have been for years. But people don't pay me no attention. Now what Obama did was basically he armed the bully. This is what... This is what America does. You know, this is what we do. Gives them chemical weapon. They use it against children. So in my head, and my mind works backwards. If Obama okayed it, then it's his motherfucking fault. Y'all keep supporting this nigga, killing kids, women, uh, supporting American troops, raping women, killing people in all these other countries. We support this. Now, this is my belief. Again, I wasn't there to watch Obama or anybody, you know, be okay by Obama to give these chemical weaponry uh, to the Syrian rebels. But they use them against the children. All right? And now Obama's like, oh my God, they over there fucking with the kids. They fucking with innocent peoples. But the, the weird thing is he don't give a fuck when he's doing it. But he can make it look like the uh, Syrian leader, he's doing it. The side, he's doing it. But, you know, now he wants to run to the rescue. Because he got to take this brother out now. Got to go to war now with Syria. And the whole thing is, well, China and Russia, like, well, all right, motherfucker. We don't believe you. All right, Obama? We don't believe that Assad um, used chemical weaponry on his own people. We don't believe that. We know that some fishy shit is going on here. So you can bring your ass over here if you want to. We ready to ride with Syria. This is China and Russia. You know, and I've read some comments and things like that on, you know, some blogs and, you know, uh, articles about it. And some American peoples are so fucking cocky. We have a really, like, a God complex about us. Because we believe. 
I mean, I even see comments like, well, well, fuck Russia, fuck uh, uh, China, fuck Syria, fuck all of them. We can take them all. That's not true. Anybody ever wonder why America only invades these third world countries? Why we don't invade these superpower countries? Why we don't just run in Russia and grab Edward Snowden? Anybody wonder why these things happen? Like, America knows who to fuck with. They know who they can topple over, who they can bully. Basically, that's what the fuck we are. A bunch of fucking bullies. Conniving, snake-ass bullies. We know we not gonna run up on fucking Russia and just, it be nothing. And even if it is, like, innocent people are going to be killed. But... Do you believe that the American government gives a fuck about the innocent lives that'll be lost over here? No. This is why they can even play around like this. Like, it's almost like the game fucking Battleship. They're gonna go hide in their fucking bunkers that they have built with all their fucking money underground. And our lives are gonna be the ones out here at stake. And we ain't got shit to do with it. That's how it works. Obama don't give a fuck. The American government don't give a fuck. And my people, I'm reading comments as well, and you got this Obama love. You know, how this brother is not in control. He is just a puppet. This is what I always hear, and I get so tired of people defending him by saying, well, he's not in control. It's people that control him. This is bullshit. It's a bullshit excuse to support somebody that is still a liar. No matter who's supporting you, motherfucker, if you're a liar, then there's no reason people should support you. But I'm going to tell you what he does. This is how he got y'all, motherfuckers. Is he talk good about gay folk, talk good about uh, women's rights and things of that nature, talk good about you know immigration and things like that. He, he just talk good to y'all. So you ignore the women and children that are being killed in other countries. We don't give a fuck about their kids. We don't give a fuck about their women. We don't give a fuck about their innocence or uh, their innocent peoples. Because it's not us. That's that, you know, one track mind of America. We don't give a fuck about nobody else but us. If us. Like, we really don't give a fuck about our own people either. But we really, really don't give a fuck about what's going on in other countries. We don't care. Third world country, Syria? <laughs> Well, it doesn't matter, you know what I'm saying? That's how we treat the situation. And we so cocky that we believe that we can just go up against these people. But I'm going to let y'all know, Russia ain't about no bullshit. Somebody said that shit to me the other day. Russia ain't got shit, they just bluffing. Why the fuck ain't America fuck with Russia yet then? Ask yourself that. Russia ain't about that bullshit. They got some heat. And all it's going to be is a bomb. Like, they're going to launch some type of, you know, missile. You, uh, uh, in real life, you see this coming. This comes like this. Oh, okay. You sending yours? Oh, I'll send one of mine. We'll see who does the most damage. This is what happens. This is how it's done. Look at my arms. Like, this is a bunch of innocent lives being lost, and this is a two-way game. This is how it works. Because the button's being pressed from underground. Missiles being launched. Like, it doesn't really matter. They're going to keep going on. And we're the ones that's going to be sacrificed for their war. So they can get this money. Just like all the other wars. They've been doing they've been staging false flags to push agendas from war to fucking bills being passed for the longest. They do not give a fuck about the American peoples. They just don't. They're willing to sacrifice our sacrifice our lives at any for anything. This is how it happens. And I, I posted about it on Facebook and true to life, true to form. Here come people talking about, oh, God is coming back. And religious people, so let me tell y'all something. And this is, you know, I, I, I really get frustrated with religious peoples because, and I talked about this yesterday on, on Ustream and even on a little live stream I did here on YouTube. Uh, religious peoples don't have to think about anything. It's really comfortable. They get to live in a world where everything is explained by something else somebody else wrote that didn't know what the fuck was going on themselves quoting books of revelation god is coming back that's what it is god's been coming back now for about what two three hundred years he didn't come back during slavery really he wasn't interested in slavery at all no vietnam war war in iraq you know 
these things didn't, you know, these things didn't affect the situation at all. God didn't feel it was necessary to come back at these times. I think Y2K was coming back for that. People was believing that shit. Um, and I don't know whether y'all paying attention. Not even you Christian folks that do pay attention. If you read your Bible, you're not going to know when the world's going to end. Stop saying it every time something fucking happens. It makes you look stupid as fuck, in my opinion. It makes you look uh, like you don't really think for your fucking self. Because God is coming back. Jesus is coming back. Which is what I, you know, y'all should say. Jesus is coming back. That's it. That's all it is. You know, this is, you know, just Jesus is coming back. But dumb shit's been happening. Atrocities have been happening in this country for so long. And people been, Jesus is coming back for a long time. And y'all pay attention. It's not happening. So, you know, and this is a weakness of people, especially Christian peoples, because they don't have to think about anything. They just say, oh, Jesus is coming back. And that's it. And that's bullshit. That's a bullshit thought process to have because you don't have to think for yourself. You don't have to try to understand why the fuck America would arm people, let them hurt other people, blame it on another dude just to justify us going to war with them. That's God coming back. Really? Or is it just a crooked, fucked up ass government that's been doing the same shit for years? This is a game of it. NWO is real. This is real life shit. America wants to take the fuck over. And at the hands of the dumbass American peoples who will not wake up, who refuse to enlighten their mind about anything other than reality fucking TV and whatever, you know, the news shows them. They believe in that. Because the news don't ever come out and be like, America is fucked up. It's crooked. I know it. I know it. They never say shit like that. But that's the reality of the situation. But it's never said on the news. On the mainstream news, I should say. America has been engaging in atrocities in other countries for many, many years. Syria is just one of and the only thing that's making this situation way bigger is this is the uh, World War Three type shit that can go on right now because you got two superpowers. You know, it's when you, when it's just the war on Iraq, it's just a war on Iraq. The war on Syria, just the war on Syria. You add China and Russia in there, you're dealing with World War Three because they have the weaponry to combat America. I'm talking about two superpower countries. That's what's making it World War III. Let's make it bigger than, you know, the Vietnam War and things of that nature. Because it's not just one country that we're going at. One small little third world, you know. And we engage in wars in Afghanistan. And Afghanistan is nowhere near a superpower. But we've been over there. It was stayed over there in war forever. Battling. That's why we pick on those countries. We can beat those countries. The Obama administration... Is a bunch of fucked up ass peoples. And it has been. It's not just Obama. I don't want y'all to understand that. A lot of people, I gotta say this a lot. It's not just Obama. But he's a part of it. So fuck him. This is the attitude people need to take. People believe that running down to the polls and voting and all this shit is real life shit. It's not. Whoever they put in that motherfucker that stands for justice will be killed. JFK. Let's move on. Alright? Like this is it's real life shit. The system as a whole is crooked, it's corrupt. It is only meant to empower the powerful. That's what it's set up for. Empower the people that's already rich. That's what it's set up for. That's how it works. They control what you see. They control what you know. They're having a harder time now because technology is advancing in a way where it's hard for them to hide. So some people are waking up now. So it's harder for them to hide the bullshit to be going on. If this was shit that happened, say, back in the 1930s or something like that, oh, we'd already been, you know, we'd been bombed on them. Don't matter. People, people wouldn't, the, 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 the way media travels now is completely different. And you have people out here exposing these said conspiracies and putting America on blast. You're not going to continue to treat us like shit. You're not going to continue to treat us like we're not paying attention. Because some of us are. Not enough of us are. All right? Because there are still a lot, too many. I'm going to say majority of Americans are still fucking stupid. And they're only concerned with TiVo and their motherfucking favorite shows. That's it. I'm going to work. I'm coming home. Like, they don't give a fuck about nothing else that goes on in the world. 
But you got people like me Making it plain for people to understand Exactly what the fuck be going on This is another false flag That brother over in Syria he, now he did not green light this to happen to his people. Obama armed those people, the Obama administration armed those peoples with those chemical weapons. They used them on children, innocent people. And now Obama's like, well, here I come to save the motherfucking day for y'all. Even though he the one that did it. It's basic shit. Basic sleight of hand shit. But we letting it work on us. We continue to believe in the bullshit. We continue to support Obama, no matter what war crimes and atrocities he does in other countries. No matter how many innocent peoples he kills. In the search for terrorists, he's bomb drone striking the fuck out of innocent people. We don't care. He's giving chemical weapons to, you know, rebels that they know he knows they're gonna use it against the peoples. He give them to them. Giving weapons to Al Qaeda. He's giving them to them. But we don't care. We need to wake the fuck up, y'all. Seriously. Again, we can't stop the war. I don't believe that as a peoples we can stop it, but we can stop letting or letting them believe that they got it over. And that's the worst thing ever in me is to they know we stupid. They know it. At the point when we stop being stupid, when we wake the fuck up, this shit will stop. In my opinion, I believe that. The majority rules, and right now the majority is stupid. So stupid rules right now. <laughs> like, sadly enough, stupid's winning. Ignorant is winning. People falling in line with uh, whatever Obama is saying, that's what's winning. Sheeple, winning. Shout out to the people that are woke or, or that are awake already, um, that are actually opening their mind to being more, you know, politically savvy. And being aware of what the fuck's going on. And not just supporting a nigga because he's black. Fuck his black. He's crooked. Just black means nothing. It shouldn't mean anything to anybody. He's crooked. That's all the fuck I want to say. I, I know I ran off on this video. One of my longest videos ever made. I know I ran off on this video, y'all. But, I mean, we just gotta, we gotta wake up as a people. And I'm out here. I'm trying to give it, give it to y'all plain and simple. So you can understand it. So it don't go over your head. Obama is a crooked ass nigga. Those chemicals, uh, those chemical weapons that he used on those that were used on those children, Obama might as well basically did it himself, in my opinion. Fuck him. Fuck the administration. And if they go to war, Russia and China are gonna be about that action. Understand that, and our lives are gonna be the ones at stake. And, and, and nobody I know got no underground fucking bunker just in case they start bombing. No one I know. Has one of those, but they do. That's why they ain't worried about it. That's all the fuck I want to say, y'all. It's your motherfucking man's in them, y'all. I appreciate y'all for watching this long ass video. All right, I'm out.